Big bore engine install in this pocket bike. Hopefully it puts more power than what's been in there. Because with this, all it does is go super slow and then cut off and then not start. So hopefully with this upgraded engine, it doesn't do that. I also got a new carb for this. I took the old carb off of this, or technically the new carb, and just put it over here because on Amazon, a lot of people said that this would break and then just mess up this engine. So yeah, let's get to it. <laughs> Here it is. Take these bolts off. Save your gaskets. Well, this kit actually came with more gaskets, but I'm just gonna wait till I need them. Bro, look at that oil. Oh, that's gross. I wonder if this is an exhaust too, or if I'm not an exhaust, a uh, a gasket. Because if it doesn't, that would explain all this gunk. No, it doesn't. All right. Oh. Where did it go? And here it is. Here's the old engine. It definitely didn't last as long as I thought it would. This one I actually bought new because the old engine, which is right there, it did the exact same thing as this one did. I hope I don't run into that issue with the one with the big board kit. Okay, so when you get your engine off and it looks gunky like this, you definitely want to wipe it off. Why is it so chunky? I don't know. I think it's from all the gravel that this thing, like, spits up in here. I don't know. But, yeah, definitely clean that off. You don't want this. If you, if you have the chance to clean it, just clean it. It's, this is awesome. This one right now is 112. This one right now runs 112 on Amazon. That, 70 bucks. That No, that's 62. Close so enough. It's fair, yeah, yeah, fairly cheap. Apparently, they used to go $50. I wish I would have bought one when they were $50, but I didn't. Um, this is the same engine, just a few different components, so everything should line up correctly. Should. Should. <laughs> By the way, this is the plastic. We should respray to make it match like sky blue instead of just dark blue like sky blue with sky blue i might you know? but i think i'm just gonna keep it at this for now if you know what this is mini mo card me and john have been trying to figure out what company this is for a while we can't figure out so if you have a pocket bike like this or you know the company comment down below i'd love to hear about it so if you want to pick up one of these engines yourself i will leave a link in the description to go to Amazon. Okay, so I got the engine and exhaust installed, got the gas line hooked up. So for the break in stage of this engine, it says for the first 150 miles or 10 hours to use 20 to one at about three fourths throttle. And then once you've done the break in stage, you use 25 to one. I don't really know if I believe in the break-in stage. There's a lot of controversy to whether it works or not, but I'm, I'll, I'll give it a shot. I don't think I'm gonna use the 20 to one for a full 10 hours of use. I might just use it for the first few runs and then move on to the 25 to one. But yeah, I'm gonna mix the fuel and then put on the plastic. So this is test one of me starting it. So first off, I'm gonna prime it, squeeze the throttle, throttle a few times, make sure it's on choke, and slowly Ooh. do this a few times. I know that sounds a lot nicer. It sounds so mean, it sounds so mean. I'm just gonna leave it. They say, as I said before, first 150 miles or 10 hours, don't do more than like three quarters throttle. 
So I took it easy on this thing. I'm going to be warming it up every day. Uh, I don't really believe in the braking period, but this cost, this engine cost me a lot of money, so I'm just going to play it safe. But yeah, it feels a lot better than the stock engines. It feels like it has a little more grab. I think it might be because it has a different clutch. But yeah, I would definitely recommend this so far. And then I'll update in case this breaks. <laughs>